Hello, everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Wrecker from Star Wars The Bad Batch. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you'd want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Let's see. Oh, it, it's also raining outside, so if you hear a little white noise, little, you know, quiet distance, uh, strange noise, it, that's why. It's raining out there. We're getting a lot of rain here in Texas for some reason. Um, so, yeah, I do these ahead of time. So I don't post it like the day before, that kind of thing. So if you're in Texas and you know that week that it rained, that's when I did all these. That big heavy week. Woo, I don't know what's going on. But hey, again, the Texas sun is not out trying to kill us, so I'm fine with that. A little, a little cool air, a little breeze, and I can open the windows. Heck yes. Okay, so, Wrecker. I don't have a lot of good details about his mask, oddly enough. I'm looking at pictures of the, uh, the toy, but it's hard to see what the mask actually is because it's such a blank... You know, in other words, I can't see the, the creases and the bends and the uh, um, parts in it that make it, uh, that give it the detail. Like, um, I can see the, the, the decoration, sure, but I need to draw the actual, um, what do you call it, the, uh, the, the, the details first and then color it with the decoration later. So, yeah, uh, we'll see what happens here. I'll, I'll see what I can... I was going to say muster up. That's a weird phrase. I'm going to see what I can find, figure out, with the... Um, the pictures that I have. Because, like I said, I've only got like the toy pictures and and they're very they're very while well, they're great and oh man I pre-ordered mine I can't wait to get it it's gonna be awesome while they're very detailed again it's just black and white in the picture you know it's hard to actually see detail I don't know I'm just babbling Ooh, how many episodes are we in at this point oh, like I said I do these ahead of time so I think I think we're only three episodes in at this point. But again, yeah, that kind of gives you an idea of how far in advance I need to do these because it, it takes a lot of work. I, I may I may do a video talking about how to uh, how to actually do these and what I mean by that is make make like a successful video channel. I just hit 2,000, yay! Um, and that's awesome. Thank you, everybody, for, for watching and contributing. And somebody asked me, you know, what are the secrets? You know, give them some tips. And there really aren't any tips. It's just work hard. That's it. And that's part of the working hard is like I, I have to post one a day. So, you know, I've got a regular life I need to try to live. And I need to try to make money and a job and that kind of stuff. This isn't my full-time paying job. This is just me, you know, uh, doing this for the fun of it and who knows one day maybe it might you know the old dreams of, of YouTube success sure why not but again uh, until I get there you know this is not my only job so I do this on the side and man it, it takes a lot to record edit color all that stuff so I have to do these ahead of time to uh, plan out and, and get them out you know so where was I going with this? That that oh, because I do these ahead of time, there's also a part that I don't know where we are in time. Right? Like right now, you are the future. You are my future. I am your past. I've talked about this before in other videos. That uh, it's crazy to think that when I record these, uh, 
um, you'll see them in the future. Right? But while you're watching it, like by the time you see it, it's my past. No, I'm your past. I did these... I did these... Um, let's say... In April. I didn't, but I'm just trying to give you an idea. Like, when this posts, it'll probably be uh, late May or June, right? But I recorded it in April, that kind of thing. So it's kind of like, again, I'm your past. You are my future. It's crazy. So, that being said, uh, I don't know where I was going with this. Um, sometimes... Sometimes, uh, I don't know where we are when I post it because also I kind of have a plan like when I'm going to get these out, that kind of thing, but sometimes I don't. Sometimes it, it falls short and sometimes like, well, I got to change things around. I got to do this. I got to do that. This is not going to post until later, that kind of thing. So it's sometimes when I say stuff like, where are we? I don't know when it's posted. I don't know when this one will post, but can say this that um, we are at least I've seen three episodes at this point I'll say that I'll say that because I know for sure I have seen three episodes Sorry, I have to concentrate real fast because sometimes that's what it takes. Sometimes, no, not all the, not, not sometimes, all the time. I am not an artist that can't, that doesn't need to concentrate. I always need to concentrate. Because it, it doesn't, I mean, I was going to say it doesn't come naturally. I guess technically it does. That's why we're drawing, because it comes naturally to us, right? Sometimes it's a skill you got to learn, but sometimes we're here because this comes naturally. And it makes sense, right? It's like when you play a piano. It's like you, it, it comes to your head. You get it. It's got a big knife I want to draw. Oh, and it's got, I guess... It attaches right here on the side. So we're going to say, kind of does this. Something like that. Right? That'll work. So I think that's good for a quick sketch. Um, let me erase some of the sketch lines and we'll get going. Um, what I like to do is is just get the rough idea, the three P's. I call them the three P's of the placement, positioning, and proportion. And those are sketch lines, just trying to make sure I get them in the right place, in the right position, according to what I want to draw, and the proportions correct. As those work out, flesh out, so to speak, I start pressing harder because I get more confident with my placement. So when I lightly erase like this, the sketch disappears, but the confidence line takes a little bit more pressure. So I'm not trying to erase those. I'm just leaving a nice faint little line to draw on because I want my Sharpie to stand out, not my pencil sketch. And I think that's gonna get us there. So if you get rid of your, conf your sketch sketchiness, keep your confidence, you'll go far in life. And I'll be there to celebrate your uh, rewards, not rewards, accomplishments. Good for you, little drawer. Okay, so I say we welcome everybody that skipped and get going. Welcome, skippers. Welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that the fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left enough to see where I'm going to go. And if you want to see more Bad Batch, Star Wars, and all kinds of fun stuff, check out that playlist there. 
or just check out the playlist in general because I do so many that I may have already drawn what you're looking for. And uh, if not, give me a request and we'll get going. I'm going to jump right in with his helmet as, as best I can because I talked about this in the sketch. There's not a lot of details. Uh, there's some, but it's hard to see. So I'm just going to kind of come across for the eyes. I'm going to say the top part is a big old helmet like this, or the big dome on top. And then uh, I'll go ahead and just connect it because, like I said, it's just a big giant helmety dome. Right? And I'm going to thicken up my lines a little bit too because. When I switch over to this Sharpie, you're going to see a huge difference in line width. So I'm going to match or get close to how it's going to look. You don't have to do this, especially if you're working with pencil. It might look a little strange to double your line up like that. I'm just explaining to you why I draw, how I draw. Okay, I like that. Okay, so for his helmet, we've got to do the eyes. I'm just going to kind of come down here and do this I'm gonna come across I wish I could turn my paper so much it's hard for me to just draw with my hand straight like this but I'm doing it for you guys do that for the eyes like that it was a little bit longer but that's okay no big deal um, again it's hard to, <laughs> there's not a lot of detail here so I'm just gonna kind of go with what I see and then I'm gonna draw his snout that's the best way I can say it this I think that looks about right now his breathers his breathers are a lot different he, he, he's very hockey goalie mask so I'm gonna draw this little circle like that another one here and then I can kind of make another there, that's where his frowny mouth is I can make another line like this. I wanted it underneath that, so that's why I wanted to draw those first. Kind of point there. Bring it down here, connect them here. That's where the edges are going to be. And his jawline, we're going to do something like this. Okay? Um, I think that's, the, for the most part, the detail. And then let's go ahead and connect it. Like the lines, the seam lines, the uh, what the connecting parts. You know, like the you know how the stormtrooper has that front muzzle type kind of thing. I think that's about all I can do for his. Besides the holes, let's draw the little holes. So those holes are what make me think hockey mask. Crazy, right? Um, let's see. Okay, there are little, like, not straps, but edges that we're going to come here, follow this here, something like that. Let's do both. Again, they're almost like manufacturing lines. I guess that's the best way I could try to describe it. Again, the, part, the parts that put together to make the mask is what I'm trying to say. Okay. We're going to come straight down for his little ear flaps here, like this. Let's do both sides. And then we're just going to connect it, right? That's all we really can do. Again, you don't have to thicken yours up. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. So something like that. The rest will do, oh, 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 okay, take it back. Hang on, hang on, hang on. He does have, looks like a, a, a crease that goes around. It kind of curves around the whole helmet, but because we're looking at it from the front, we're basically just gonna draw like that. That's it. The rest will do with color, so I'm not worried about the other details. It's gonna look cool once we color it, okay? This little uh, toothy monster look, you know? Okay, so for his armor, it's kind of up on his his shoulders or back behind him, right? So this part, his neck piece, kind of holds it all in together. I guess 
again, I wish I wish I could pick up my paper and and, and, uh, and uh, turn it, but I can't. I got to do this. It's going to come down like this. It all connects into his his piece, almost like it's one like the helmet goes into that, you know, like one sturdy piece. So I got to try to draw a line connecting over here like that. Does that make sense? So it's no longer his helmet. It's more of the the uh, the neck piece, which is going to come down like this into his body. That, that's what I'm trying to say. And I think I want to do like the smaller pieces with this Sharpie right here, the small Sharpie, just to accent the next layer. that okay I'm trying to look at pictures I don't have a lot of perfect pictures ooh you know what I see it sh what I should have done is ah, I, I messed up I've already messed up it kind of comes down like this so ignore that middle uh, sorry it needs to come down like this it should have been like this I apologize the pictures I'm looking at show that it should have been like that. That shouldn't have been connected. So, sorry, I already messed it up. But hey, this is this is all we can do is just keep going with what we did and and uh, work with what we got. That's the best thing we can say. You know, no use in crying over over the past. We're just going to go with it like it is. So you might want to erase those two lines right there. I'm just going to color it in. They're going to disappear. So we're going to go with it like that. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and draw his armor. Let's go ahead and just put that piece in like this. Bring it down. Put this shoulder piece in like this. And draw to... Let's go all the way down to his waist because that's where it is. Right? And then we'll draw the separation. this. Let's draw it with the smaller sharpie. Just again, just to kind of accent the seams and the dents. Now, like I said, it's okay to mess up and it's okay to be upset. Like I really wish I didn't do that. I'm, I'm very upset that I did it, but that's okay because things happen and you can allow yourself to be upset you can allow yourself to you can allow yourself to cry you know there's no reason to hide things there's no reason to bury those feelings down but just give yourself time to be upset and accept your feelings and you know then move on that's it it's that simple that easy well you know maybe not that easy but you know what i'm trying to say it's like it's it's uh it's okay to feel those feelings you know there's no reason to bury them or or uh tell yourself you know what when you're hungry you don't you don't beat yourself up it's like oh I'm, no I can't be hungry so you can't say no I can't cry yeah it's a feeling let yourself have that feeling it's not that hard well you know what I'm trying to say anyway let's keep drawing I'm drawing the arm the arm is kind of tucked in behind that And then uh, a little bit of, of uh, elbow armor back to the elbow and do the armor like this I can't see if there's something on the other side there is okay so I'm gonna do like this and come down do like that because there's a little bit more on the armor than just um, what do you call it the edge right but it's on the underside so we can't really see it as much something like that there's just seams Call it the uh, 
bicep piece. Same thing here, a couple of edge seams. So that's all we're gonna worry about. Okay, for his hand, I've got him holding his blaster, but it's kind of over his hand. So you're seeing like blasters here. So you're just seeing these, these So the blaster is over his hand, so all you're seeing is his hand like that, right? So we're gonna draw the blaster. I'm gonna put it right about, let's see, how am I gonna draw it? Where's his thumb? His thumb is gonna come in like this. So the blaster is here on top. Like that now. I, I don't have the perfect picture, so I'm just kind of making this up. So don't get frustrated if you're not drawing exactly what I'm drawing. I'm just making up what it might look like, okay? I've got pictures of like the toy, but that's really about it. That's all I have to go by. all I can do for the hand because again it's it's kind of covered up by the blaster so let me draw some details real fast just to kind of clean it up so see sometimes looking like that the, the position position we choose it kind of gets covered up by uh, small details But again, I, I, I can't really draw all the detail anyway, so I'm not worried about it. We're not here for a blaster tutorial, you know? So this stuff I'm just kind of making up. Like, well, it's got levels, there's things on it. That's all I can really do. But see, it looks like the top of a blaster. That's the best thing to do. All right, this one's holding his 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 knife. So I've got his arm up a little bit. So that means I'm raising up his shoulder um, uh, armor. I was gonna say shoulder blade, but it's armor, right? I'm raising it up a little bit because when you raise your shoulder, you're lifting all the meat, which is lifting up everything that's on top of it, you know? So that's gonna put his bicep here. A little bit underneath that but the way it bends I kind of need to draw let me do this real fast I kind of need to draw this part to make sure I don't draw through the uh, the bicep piece because see it kind of goes under kind of like with that it kind of goes under there just a little bit just from the position that we chose so I'm gonna draw his elbow here like this draw this is material so that's kind of bendy right and let me add a little detail before we keep going we're gonna say because it's cloth like that we're gonna say that it's bendable Let's see something like this it's got creases right so something like that again there's just some creases in the armor here nothing too crazy I like to do stuff like that just to, you know, give it, break up the uh, negative space. Okay. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so this time we're holding his, he's holding his knife kind of like that. I can't turn my hand. So, we're going to, let's just say, here's the handle in so many words, right? I'll, I'll straighten it out in a second. But it's in front of his hand, which is like this, which is wrapped around it. And then the other knuckles are doing the same thing. up a little bit more. So 
that's gonna put the thumb back behind it. Like on the other side, because it's, it's like this holding it, but because it's like that, you're kind of not seeing it because of the way the blade is gonna be, right? Then the handle and all that stuff, it kind of disappears behind it. So I'm gonna put the, the, uh, um, the hilt, right? The little protector like this in the way then I'm gonna draw the blade I'm just gonna kind of make it up um, I've got it kind of turned should I turn it the other way no I'm just gonna leave it like it is I'm, gonna, I'm not I'm overthinking it so I'm just I'm gonna do it by hand too I'm just kind of doing something like this it's a little curved from the handle that's okay I'm fine with that Again, like this mess up, it's okay to not do things perfectly. That's, that's the lesson here, the lesson for today. It's, it's, okay to, it's okay to not do things perfectly, and it's okay to be upset with not doing things perfectly, but, uh, you know, I'm good. Move on. Okay, there you go. That's enough for the blade. That's enough for the blade. We got other stuff to draw that we need to get to. Right, so back to his waist, down to, well, let me draw his crotch and then his, because that's like his mid piece, right? So, um, this goes to some boxes. But the reason I wanted to do this is because I wanted to draw those boxes before I bring the waist down. Right, because see, I didn't want to accidentally do that by drawing through those when all I really need to do is like come down like that. That's it. But let me draw his, his belt. And that's not really a belt. It's like a, his crotch piece, right? Like that. So then for his midsection, we're pretty much just doing that, right? That's all I can do. Add some detail here. that uh, a little bit of a line for his, his body body suit and now we're just doing armor that's all we're really, really doing so I'm gonna bring it in like this wrap it around where his leg would be let's go ahead and do both sides might as well right okay and then I'm gonna bring the leg down to his knee pads the leg down his thigh down to his knee pads I guess technically I am drawing the leg down right should we do both? Might as well. Again, so it makes sense, so you see where we are. And uh, knee pads. Is one bigger than the other? It looks like it. Okay, we'll make this one smaller. Make this one bigger. I hope that's right, because that, that's kind of neat. I, I'm glad they do stuff like that by putting little detail in like that because that makes it uh you know uh like wear and tear like he's had to replace parts and things like that so i like that i like that a lot okay you know that trooper armor it's got that awesome seam in it something to the front like that so um but yeah but mostly i was also want to do is some creases and folds to his bodysuit. Right? Just to kind of uh, bunch up the, the leg parts where he's got movement, you know? Uh, I don't think there's much on the top of the knee pads here. This one looks kind of flat, but maybe like that. All right, again, more armor down to his legs, and his leg does have a place for his knife. So I'm just gonna draw down like this. And then draw a sheath, really. A, a, a space sheath. Because it, it's, it holds his knife, but there, he's got his knife. So technically, he's already holding his knife. <laughs> 
Okay, let's do both sides. Okay, and a little bit of little bit of detail. Do ba do do. Why am I singing when there's music playing? Now just boots. Let's do some some uh, trooper boots. So nothing too crazy. We never do much crazy stuff with the shoes. Oops, want to round that out a little bit more. Something like that. Bring this down to the heel on this one. We'll add just a slight bit of detail. A little bit taller there than I wanted, but it's okay. No big deal. Again, this is today's lesson is about making mistakes. Now it's no big deal. But there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Wrecker from the Bad Batch. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures with how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.